Come! Come on! Give up already! Crash Bandicoot! At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you. And now, the final blow! Going into It's About Time, I was cautious. Even after playing the demo, I didn't know exactly how I was 100% going to feel playing this, but when I played it, I was surprised. And I even got a few laughs. This title feels like a mix of Crash's 1 and 2, Entranced, Twin Sanity, Titans, and Mind of a Mutant combined. I'm talking from how it's presented with its gameplay and the writing. I genuinely found the writing enjoyable and the acting was great. Now, the one thing I will say that makes this game its own beast out of all of the Crash Bandicoot games is that it did more with Dr. Entropy, which is what I wanted from Crash 3 when I looked back at that game. I'm pretty sure you guys remember my problem with Crash Bandicoot 3 video where I specifically talked about Dr. Entropy's presence in that game and how weak it was. But yeah, I'd even go as far as to say that this is the best that Dr. Entropy has been handled slash represented. Because his debut in Crash 3 left more to be desired, to say the least. Though, I did find that one scene where all of the characters you play as are monitoring, blah blah blah, I won't spoil. Kinda uncomfortable. But the characters cringe afterwards and I'm just glad they represented exactly my feelings towards that interaction. I love, love, love how Coco is extremely classy and nailed here as a character, especially on the resolve screens after you finish a level, and I'm really glad that they did a bit more with her. Though I felt Twana had more of an impact in the story than Coco did, contrary to what Toys for Bob stated, but considering the sisterly bond it seems that they have in this game when they interact, it makes sense. If you're wondering which masks are my favorite, it's Lonnie Loney based on his personality alone, because I find it funny. And Kapuna Wa because she can slow down time, which is a nice callback to Mind of a Mutant, and you guys know I like Mind of a Mutant. This game is very challenging, and I don't think anyone should feel bad for dying over 50 plus times in the middle to later levels, though I only died 89 times in Cortex's Castle, which... <sighs> I wish they didn't bring that level back, but it makes sense if you have beaten the game. Please take your time playing this. I think the game is most definitely creative, unique, and is great. Do I think it's the best? No. Though I would prefer hearing people call this game the best rather than Twin Sanity, but I digress. You guys have yourselves a good one, and I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. I'll catch you guys whenever, if ever. Peace.